Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome back to another video, Ultima Cross, with me. So, to you, as usual, as if you guys are watching on Facebook, hello to you guys as well. Um, Alright, so as you can see right now, the game has updated to version 1.2.0, and of course, there is a brand new um, section in the settings itself. So, we're gonna talk about that. Um, if you guys follow the Japanese Twitter for Ultima Cross, you probably know what it is that I'm going to talk about already. But still, let's go through it together. I'm going to go through the entire menu settings again for the game because I, did, I do not have a video talking about it on my YouTube channel. Um, the last video that I did for settings has been on the Facebook group itself personally because there were some gameplay videos with music involved. Okay, so as you can see, my background has changed again because my center plate is, well, <laughs> this particular one. So, it is possible to shift um, whichever episode plates. Um, the images that are shown in this background here right now is basically the plates that I have equipped to my divas. So, all nine different plates, um, you can actually scroll them from left to right. Um, to actually have them as your background so I'm just gonna pick one I'm gonna go with... no apparently I can't change this one huh how do I change this okay let's let's just confirm uh, apparently I can't so it's always the one that's equipped to the main center diva as the frame the first plate so uh, just to double check and confirm so that you know you guys if you want to change your image so there you go i have makina equipped with the particular mikumo episode plate so yeah that that particular plate will be the image background now if you're wondering how you can actually set up the main menu screen like that well it's in the settings as well so let's dive into the settings explanation and get down to it okay so um the first part here on the first flap here um it's about life so you can actually set the notes speed um how fast they fall you can actually increase them or you can decrease them up to you um you can change the settings for any of the modes that you can play difficulties yeah or you can always tick this this one will basically say, uh, this one, when you take this, basically it says for all difficulties, it will be retained at that same speed. So since I, 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 I prefer to have it like that, so all game difficulties will be set at 8.0 for me, including easy. So yeah, so this is a tick. Now, if you are brand new to the game, um, when you enter, the uh, when you select to play a live, uh, many option will show you this so there will be two ticks um, one of them will be this one which is the top one the other one will basically at the bottom it will say it will suggest to you tick this box if you do not want to always be prompted to set um, note speed whenever you play uh, before you play a live so take that if you do not want to have that option keep popping up for you uh, it can be a bit annoying so just set a default speed for all your lives and just go ahead and play all right so we are moving on to the next section so this is this is basically very straightforward um sound options for um the game so the first one basically um is your music sound then your effect sounds your character voices and your notes sound so whenever you tap a note the sound of the note will be this volume okay then of course if you're wondering what this button is is default so it will change everything to default which is not what i want to do all right the next row okay um if you have played the game without changing any of the settings you will know what i'm going to talk about next cut in basically if you act if any of your episode plates activate a skill, you have your characters uh, appear at the top portion here, coming out with voices saying that oh the to let you know that the skill is activated, you know. So, and this one, 
This one is the notes guidelines. So if you have played without changing the settings, you know what I'm talking about as well. Um, when your notes fall, they will follow this row of lines uh, to indicate where they are going to land on to so you can press them accurately. Now for me, I'm used to having without the notes like the note path um, shown because I, I fully want to enjoy the uh, the dance movements of the divas in the background so yeah I tend to switch it off so yeah I switch off both of them because it's pretty annoying <laughs> to have it in my view all right the next row um, of options this one basically chooses your um, 3, uh, 3d and 2d live qualities so if your phone is capable of um, setting its um, I would say graphics to the max then go ahead as for me as on the iPhone I have no problem setting it to the max I know for Android users they tend to have a uh, lack in graphic power so they might want to lower it down so it's up to you um, yeah okay and of course the default button as usual next one so this particular option was implemented in the previous two previous updates ago um, this is Valkyrie mode. So basically, if you do not wish to have that Valkyrie animation, that Valkyrie battle scene, you can switch it to Utahime uh, only. So whenever it goes into the Valkyrie attack sequence, it will show your diva or Basara dancing in the background. So yeah, I'm going to switch to Utahime because I don't really want to see that battle animation. Uh, sorry for those who are... Uh, fans of the Valkyries itself yeah but that's how I play okay so the next one will be video quality um, hmm okay so I'm not sure what's the difference between this and that 3d life or 2d life sorry sorry no dog oh huh Okay, I'm not too sure what's the difference, but yeah, so this one, video video quality, you can set it to high and low resolution, I guess. Hmm. Um, then of course this one, you can have it as um, there will be no live videos in, there will be no videos in the live. So I guess you will switch off the... Uh, diva dancing and all that so it's basically a flat screen with the notes falling down so for those hardcore i guess music gamers they might want to switch it to this mode um you know so as to just focus on the game itself okay so this one huh. okay this is also another settings for the quality of the game um so three full 3d then light 3d so probably if you have lower um, graphic resolution than your mobile device this is what you want to select as well then 2d mode um, means basically there is no animation for um, diva dancing so yeah i don't really understand what what's with all these repeated options for all this graphic um, graphical setups but you know so render uh, customize you can actually select whether you want to have your uh, 3D Otahime in high definition, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm just going to set like, everything to high. Yeah. So, but, you know, since I can do 3D full, why not? And of course, here we have the brand new uh, installment for the menu settings. It's the style of the notes. Now, <clears throat> they give us three types and colors so normally i would recommend choosing this color setting because if you've played long enough you realize that sometimes you can't really tell the arrow head directions um oops uh <laughs> oops okay so yeah you can't really tell the arrow head directions um Sometimes when the notes are falling too fast, unless you have memorized every single note in that particular song, then kudos to you. <laughs> but for me, I play uh, according to reaction, so the arrow hits tend to play a very important role for me. So sometimes because they're all in the same color, I can't really tell. 
So I'm gonna choose this. Then, yeah, you can take a look at the gameplay later on when I play a live and see the difference between all the menu settings that I've set up. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the usual one, the, the default type one um, that I'm so used to, just that probably the left and right swiping ones you will be in a different color. That's pretty cool, but I'm just gonna get used to it. Okay, the last one here in the menu setting for life is the timing for your responses. So you can go ahead and do a setting of this one. Um, the pink button here will go to that uh, um, sound demonstration. They will play a sound, then you tap accordingly to the chime that you hear, and they will set the setting accordingly to your responses. Uh, according to the sound. Alright, so that's the first flap. Second flap, okay, again, more settings for the music. So you have your BGM volume, your system volume, your voice volume, so BGM, system, and voice. Okay, so you can arrange, uh, you can increase and decrease them according to how you want it. Um, of course, this one here. Now this one is pretty important, so if you're wondering how you could have your episode placed in the background in your main menu, this is where it comes in. So if you select the first option, it will say that you only have the image of a default. Uh, so previously in all my videos, I've only had this option selected. But if you want to show the uh, main plate rare, uh, rarity up um, um, 4 and above, selected in your, your diva so this will be the one so like, like just now I was showing you how that uh, Mikumo plate was projected onto the main menu page so this option is the one that you want and of course this one um, let me say Utahimi okay so in the main option in my previous video I was trying to change um, my diva because when I reinstalled the game my diva became Makina because she was my center diva at that point of time um, so yeah so this option here at the top will basically make your center diva your main diva that will appear on your menu screen while the second option means you can always have the diva that you chose to be um, your diva at the menu screen. So for me, I will always put Ranka in the front. Uh, even though the center diva in my game plays may not be Ranka itself, but at least she will always be there on the main menu. Okay, for others, this is not important, so I won't explain because it is not necessary to fiddle around with this one. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the settings for Uta Macross. I'm gonna go into the live to show you some of the adjustments made. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn off the music here. Alright, let's go into the D, um, to the live itself and take note of um, the um, yeah the settings. So I'm gonna play this because I'm trying to actually up my proficiency for my divas because in the last event for Lin Min Mei's birthday, um, I kind of maxed out some of the proficiencies on some of the divas and they're locked at level 4 so I want to unlock the proficiency for them so they, whenever the song comes to a permanent menu um, selection, I can actually up their divas proficiency to max level of 5. So, okay, we're gonna play this. Um, I'm just gonna go with the normal just to show you guys so that I can focus talking at the same time. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna just automize um, the selection of the plates. Uh, usually I will recommend doing this for any kind of live. I don't recommend customizing your own episode plate setup because sometimes it may not be the best result of setup <laughs> so uh yeah if you're lazy like me just choose the auto button all right let's dive into the live itself so the first thing you'll notice is probably the lines the the note lines missing there we go so you don't see the note lines at all so in like any of my previous videos this is how i have it set up and of course we're gonna see the brand new color scheme for the notes um for the, the left and right swipes notes, yeah. 
and of course you see that some the skills have already been activated but there is no notification in the top left hand corner saying to tell me that um, the note uh, the activates uh, the skills have been activated as you can see the notes here have the symbols for the skills um, yeah okay so far we have yet to see any left and right swiping probably might have gone with a higher difficulty to show you guys notes on that hmm. ah there we go oops i missed uh, pardon me for my lack of responses but <laughs> i just woke up so <laughs> okay uh the color does look a bit ugly um i gotta say but at least it tells me which direction I need to swipe, I guess. Although it'll probably get some use to uh, get some, yeah, getting used to on the color. Oh my goodness, my rest pause is terrible. My mind is all wobbly. Okay, so that's it. So that's pretty much it for um, what you can play with in the menu settings for Uta Macross. Um, set it in a way that you can enjoy the game fully. For me, this is pretty much how I enjoy the game. Um, yeah, so, you know, I love to, like I like I did in the previous uh, questionaries, um, I played this game mainly because I like to see the divas and I like to see them dance. Um, that's really what I enjoy watching the TV series as well. So yeah, set up the game in the way that you like uh, and enjoy Ultime Across in whatever um, possible way you prefer. Until then guys, if you like what you heard from me, as usual, do click the subscribe button. I don't really upload very often, so click the bell notification icon as well to be notified whenever I pop up a video on my YouTube channel. Or if you guys have always been following me on Facebook, you know where I am, which group I belong to. Um, sometime I'll post it in the um, mobile phone um, fan page as well. But if not, uh, yeah, you guys know where I will be. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!